So now, uh, here we go. We've got five, six comedians. And I'm going to give somebody who came up the first time last week the first chance to come up here. Calliope, are you ready to do a little bit of comedy tonight? And don't forget, keep the time down five, seven yep. minutes. It would be really good, okay? Woo! Bring you ready? Calliope. Hey, Calliope. Calliope, are you? Go here she is. Oh, wow, beautiful you look. Wow, well, let's give a big round of applause second time on our stage. Woo! Yeah, fantastic. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Thank you, Lauren, and everybody. Didn't know you'd put me first. Oh, no. <laughs> Nah. Um, you were talking. You were talking about the gay marriage being legal everywhere now, and you hear about that weird Texas pastor who was like, "I'll set myself on fire if marriage equality happens." Well, I'm waiting for him to do it. I want to bring the rainbow marshmallows to the barbecue. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he apparently sort of was like, "Oh, I wasn't serious about that." Oh, sure you weren't. Darn. Where, where's the barbecue? <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then I have a couple weird questions here. Am I the only one who, if somebody says compass, I think, try not to th giggle because I'm like, haha, compass? Oh. <laughs> I never thought of that. Never thought of it, but thank you. Then we'll now I'm always think of it from now on. Forever. I think of it. Stop <laughs> thinking of it now. Think about, like, <laughs> but it'll remind you to pee after you have sex, right? <laughs> I do that. No UTIs. <laughs> yep, that's that's why they say to do it. No UTIs, at least less chance of them. So, speaking of sexy things, when porn stars are working, are they on the cock? Oh. On the cock. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I guess you can smoke after sex too, but. I don't know about that being good for your health. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the smoking, not the sex. Sex is definitely good for your health, right? Yes. Okay, another, <laughs> another question. You ever talk to someone who tried so hard not to be offensive, they looped back into being offensive? <laughs> I have a example of this. I'm, I'm staying at a hotel right now, uh, extended stay for an internship. Long story there. But I was talking to the staff about like housekeeping kept knocking on the door bothering me even though I had do not disturb up apparently some of them were like ignoring it because it wasn't like in the slot of the doors and it's like uh, the signs there it doesn't matter where it is but anyway the lady at the desk was like well you know some of our multicultural staff and it's like okay you could have just said some of them don't speak English well what is offensive about that <laughs> people just loop back into being offensive so about the housekeeping trying to come in one time what a housekeeper was like housekeeping and got knocked on the door and started opening it and i do not have the best reaction time so i was like uh no thank you but i was sitting at my computer naked <laughs> <laughs> Like right in front of the door. That's what you thought of right now. So I should have been like, no, go away. Because it's almost got walked in on. I was just like surfing the internet, but naked. So it's like, okay, it says do not disturb, so don't disturb me or I might disturb you. <laughs> I am also fat in real life, so I don't think anybody wants to see the... Well, some people might. There's... People who do, but I don't think housekeeping wants to see a naked lady at her computer. Naked fat lady. Uh -huh. <laughs> Wrong gesture. Okay. <laughs> at least, at least the bed's out of the way of the door. Because what if I'd been like in my bed, you know, masturbating? <laughs> Although, <laughs> along with that, <laughs> along with that, there. You know how some guys are like thinking they're God's gift to women. That that's never true because I know what God's gift to women is: vibrators. Vibrators. <laughs> to women. <laughs> Although, if you've ever heard the story of where vibrators came from, they were they originated with 
male doctors trying to treat women for hysteria. Yes. I, I thought they you, came from Help I, Island. I don't know about you, but I think I might have some hysteria. I think I need to see a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, one. Give me that young one over there, the young guy. <laughs> and if, if that's not too personal for you, I guess nothing's too personal here. One, I do have an embarrassing vibrator story. Not much, too much of a story, but... So, I was in my room at a university, and I had my own room, but like... I had just woken up, decided to have some alone, sexy, fun time, and the fire alarm went off. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, I always thought it would be awkward if the fire alarm went off when I was in the shower, but that's a little worse. So we should vibrate as they talk to us. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you're looking good tonight. <laughs> I saw this one online that it vibrates to music, and that seems a little weird and why but hey why not i guess if you can and there are these okay. all right these you ones that you can con control through the internet but if you can control vibrators through the internet through the internet can you hack them through the internet <laughs> mm. <laughs> that that could be a little scary and i i was thinking after this fire alarm incident what if what if there actually was a fire and the fire department came in and they like didn't know what it was and they like thought it was a bomb or something and th <laughs> then the other f the other f uh the other f i can't think of the word for a oh, firefighter <laughs> i couldn't think of the right word there there are firefighters like oh well then i guess my wife has a couple bombs in the bedside drawer you know what i'm saying <laughs> <laughs> Okay, another weird question here. You ever play Goldilocks and the Three Toilets? <laughs> no. that's, that's what I call it. I call it Goldilocks and the Three Toilets when you're in a public restroom. And you're like, oh, this first one, you that that's really nasty. Somebody didn't flush your shit down there. I'm not using that one. <laughs> then the second one, you're like, uh, there, there's no toilet paper in this one. And the, three, the three one, you're like... The, the three one, the third one, you're like, oh, th that's okay, I can deal with this one. So we lost the <laughs> toilets in there. <laughs> I'm working at a hospital and psychiatric, psychiatric inpatient right now. Can't tell too many stories there because hit the laws and all that, but this one time I was in the restroom and there was no toilet paper, and it's because it's a hospital, they have this emergency pool thing, like if you I don't know, I guess you <laughs> fall or have a medical emergency or something. So I was like, I should pull that and be like, emergency, there's no toilet paper in here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I just have one other thing. I I had a... I've been having like a cab service drive me. And we're talking about cash cab. And what if a cab driver was... You know that that cash cab show in New York. And what if that. it happened like, "Hey, you're on cash cab." The passenger's like, "Awesome!" And the cab driver goes, "Ready for some trivia?" The passenger's like, "Actually, I have a question for you. Your money or your life?" Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You'd think somebody would get robbed on cash cab. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that was the last thing I had. So thanks. Thank you so much. Well, let's <laughs> give it up. Let's give it a second. Time, fantastic. We so so enjoy you, Calliope. Thank you so much. And be back next week. Come every week. So here's a question, everyone. What do you call a doctor who's finished last in his medical school class? Doctor. Very good, doctor. Yes, exactly. Get ready for the new health care benefits that are coming. <laughs> Because the odds are you will get somebody who's last in their class, right? Wow. Oh.